Well, good evening. Welcome to our service of evening prayer for this Tuesday evening. Let's begin straight away. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful. Let us pray to the Lord. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and for ever. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Let my prayer rise before you as incense, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Teach me, Lord, the way of your statutes, and I shall keep it to the end. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And so in this shortened version of evening prayer, we move to our reading, which is from Colossians chapter 1, verse 15 to the end. This is to do with the supremacy of Christ. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation, for in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or powers, all things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body of the church, he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile to himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven, by making peace through the blood of his cross. And you who were once estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he is now reconciled in his fleshly body through death, so as to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him, provided that you continue securely established and steadfast in the faith, without shifting from the hope promised by the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed to every creature under heaven. I, Paul, became a servant of this gospel. I am now rejoicing in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am completing what is lacking in Christ's afflictions for the sake of his body, that is, the church. I became its servant according to God's commission that was given to me for you, to make the word of God fully known, the mystery that has been hidden throughout the ages and generations, but has now been revealed to his saints. To them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of his glory, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. It is he whom we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone in all wisdom, so that, we may so that we may present everyone mature in Christ. For this I toil and struggle with all the energy that he powerfully inspires within me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, we continue now with our Gospel Canticle, uh, which is the Magnificat. And there's a refrain uh, before it. You have done great things, O God, and holy is your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. 
The Lord has shown strength with his arm, and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones, and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things, and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel, to remember his promise of mercy, promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children for ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so we take a few moments of silence to reflect on the day which has passed and what is to come. Let us pray to the Father, the all-powerful God, who raised Jesus our Saviour from death. We pray, Lord, that you will lead all nations into the light of Christ. May they acknowledge him as Lord and Saviour. Lord, help us to put aside our selfish interests and enrich us with the mind of Christ. Let justice and peace flourish in our country and around the world. Show those who are in need that your providence is caring for them. Father of the poor and lowly, we pray to those whom the world forgets. Grant life and glory to our dead, whom Christ redeemed by his precious blood. In your love, O Lord, answer our humble prayer. Guide us with your grace to see what we have to do and strengthen us with a will to do it. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Just take a few moments of silent prayer and reflection. So we move to the Lord's Prayer, which uh, tonight is in English. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Eternal God, 
source of all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works. Give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that we may willingly obey your commandments, and that, free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Light in our darkness, Lord, we pray, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. Cross in her glidius y grys dechariadu a chymdeithas yr ysbryd lân, byddwch hefyd i nawr ac yn oes oes oes. Amen. And the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. It was lovely spending these moments with you uh, at the end of the uh, working day for most people. Um, I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye for now.